I'm an expert in language and it's linked to social behavior and how we can harness the power of language to understand people better. I approached this with no knowledge of this case, not until you all contacted me did I actually read the ransom note for the first time. One of the things I noticed in initially is that the pronoun we is starting off the letter, we have your daughter. Later, there's an, an indication, mm -hmm. follow my instructions. Exactly, exactly. So the first paragraph is all we, and then most of the rest is all I, which is a fascinating issue. Very often when people are writing something, at the beginning, they are working to establish an identity, and it might be false or not. So in some ways, you can trust the psychological language more after that first paragraph. The first paragraph is, this is what I'm trying to appear as, and then it becomes hard to maintain that over time. The last paragraph of this note oozes with contempt. The wording is, don't try to grow a brain, John. Use that old southern charm of yours. And they use the word John about three or four times in the last paragraph. There's a sense that the person who's writing this is psychologically close to him. By close, I can imagine they work under him, they live close to him, but they know him. These are people who I think are well educated, they spell quite well. There's two misspellings in the first paragraph, which is that first paragraph is also the one that's most suspicious. But they spell a lot of words that most people misspell perfectly. You use the word they. You believe that more than one person wrote this letter? Possibly. One that I prefer to think of is that there are two people together. That she is doing the writing and he's saying, oh, say this. And she's putting that into a written form, but also is actually doing the composition.